Hey everybody, it's Kim and I'm back to do the video of the display tray from Close to My Heart that I gave you guys a sneak peek of a while back. I'm finally ready to do the video. The one I'm showing you is one that I did for my mom for Christmas. She doesn't watch these so we're safe. Um, with Avonlea paper from Close to My Heart. And the paper packs you get from Close to My Heart have three sheets. Well, they have six sheets, but three different sheets of paper that are double sided so if you cut four of those from each sheet cut them at three inches by four inches and then you'll have your twelve squares because these are all the same three inches by four inches uh... let's see the start at the top here the flower up here at the top I don't know if you can see that let me kind of show you that guy Okay, um, was cut with the Cricut Artiste cartridge and it is on page fifty of your handbook and this one I'm not sure which cut I used here. I think the pink one. But anyway, there's three different ones, four different ones on here. Super simple to put together. You'll cut out two pieces. The bigger you make your cut, the bigger your flower is going to be. If anyone has watched any of the Close to My Heart corporate videos on YouTube, back behind the ladies to the left, there's these two big, at least two big flowers up on the wall behind them and that's what these are just cut they probably cut them at six inches or something huge this one is cut at I think one one and a half one and a quarter pretty little but what you get is you end up with two pieces of paper and they'll have little kiss cuts on them you fold them all up accordion style I'm not gonna show you the whole thing here and then you glue the two ends together here and on the other end here so you'll end up with a big circle like this all put together this is just white and I daubed around the edges in pink so you'll have this big circle put together here and all you do is scrunch it down just fold it in and then you're gonna have a piece of paper you won't see it on the back so don't worry about seeing it let me move this real quick and show you guys how to do this. Take some liquid glass or glue, hot glue. Hot glue is probably not going to work. You're probably going to burn the crap out of your fingers. So I suggest liquid glass. Holds really good. You just I'll make it look harder than it is. It's really easy. I just don't have the space here. Squish. Squish down just like that. Okay. Why don't you get it squished down? If I had another hand here, where's my glob of glue? Just stick it down on your glob of glue right there, okay? And it'll hold. And then if you want to put something on top, you can you can make another flower and put on top, or you can put a button on top or something like that to hide that little hole. So I'm not gonna sit here and hold it because I don't want to take that time, but. Those are super easy to make. I just want to show that to you guys. Um, also on this one and on this one over here, zoom in so you guys can see here. I have these little roses, roses ribbon that's in the book. Back in the embellishments, you get a big five yards, I believe. It's called rosette ribbon, five yards, and I'll show you. It comes like this and I kind of squished it together as I put it on just to fit four roses in my space there but you get a lot of ribbons so that'll, that'll go a long long ways and it's back in the um, embellishments and ribbon part of the book back here this ribbon right here so $7.95 for five yards of ribbon the other thing I used was a pack of these brocade assortment right here and they're $5.95 and I've used up the whole pack between this one and the one that I'm making from my mother-in-law it's pretty similar so there's like two keys and a couple of brooches um, or cameos I guess they're called and some other little elements that are really cute that go with this Avonlea paper really really well so other than that I just did um, some buttons a tag with an H for her last name um, this is from the, that and this is from 
the where is it? This here that comes with if are the Avonlea Compliments canvas shapes. These are all canvas, so they're really cool to use in this. But the family is not from there. That's too big on there. So I cut that out with the Artiste cartridge, and that is on page. I just had it. Sorry, guys. I had it marked and everything. Ugh. Okay. There it is. It took me two back. seconds after I turned off the camera. It is on page 60 in your handbook. This little element right there. So it's going to be on the just on the regular key there. It's not a shift or a function key. It's just on the key that says family and it's looks like it's over here on the end. This one is cut out I want to say at two it's like one and a half inches. And other than that, you just put your elements where you want, put stuff where you want. You can put stuff in the middle. You could leave like nothing in these and put a big five by seven here with this having 12 spaces. This would be great for a like a kid's collage of school pictures. Like you could put the senior one in the middle and all the other grades around or something like that. So Anyway, that's the one I've made, and the one I'm working on right now is a Christmas one, and I wanted to show you guys how to do, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you guys on camera, because you're going to do your own, your own way anyway. I don't know if you can see, let me turn it kind of sideways, maybe you can tell what I'm talking about. How this one's like popped out more from the back of the box, and this one's like flush to the back of the box, and I have some popped up, some flush. So to get that, I want to show you guys how to do that, because I didn't know how to do that. You get this foam board, poster board foam board. It's about maybe an eighth of an inch thick or so. It's back in my dollar store. It was back by the poster boards that your kids use for their science fairs, etc. Back by the mailers, all that kind of stuff. And you just cut them out, four by three. And depending on how much you want them to pop out, you can do one layer, two layers, or probably even three. I don't think I did any three layers, but if you wanted it really close, you know, out, you could do three layers. So anyway, I'm going to show you the one I'm working on for Christmas. Just real quick, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I'll post a picture at the end. Just the tip I wanted to give you was make sure that we, when you put things in, there's two little hooks at the top to hang it on the wall. Make sure that that's your top and not your side or your bottom. That's something I would probably do. So be careful of that. And the other thing I would say is to don't glue anything down. In fact, I'm not going to glue anything down even tonight because I have ordered two more of these to make one for my mother-in-law. And I have all of everything cut out and ready to go. It's got to pop it in. I'm just waiting on the tray to get here from close to my heart. So if it doesn't get here by Christmas, I'll have to use this tray. So just put these in wherever you like, randomly or however. I wouldn't put like two of the same colors right next to each other. Try to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, let's see. I'll put that up there. And basically just find stuff you like and Decorate each square one at a time. That one I need to trim down a little bit. It's not quite small enough to go in there, apparently. The pieces and parts that I'm using here are from a sheet. You can see I've used everything on it. From a sheet in the book also that's nice, thick chipboard. Also towards the back here. One of these days I'll learn to mark all this. Oh, I did mark it. I just forgot I marked it. Called Dimensional Elements in Color Holiday. Here in, on page 128, it's item number Z1772. And it's got a whole bunch of elements on a nice thick chop, uh, chipboard. 
they have adhesive on the back, but you can probably stand to put a little more adhesive on them. So anyway, that's pretty much all the tips I have on this. Just put stuff where you like it. I have a few more to do. I made one of those little flowers for this one too. So just put them wherever you like. And when you're happy with it, glue it all down. That's about it. That's all I can think of to tell you. So hope you guys have fun making these. And if you're going to order, I would get it in soon if you want it for Christmas. I'd get it in like tomorrow if you're going to order because it might not make it by Christmas if you don't. Um, that's about it. If you do want to order from my site and you go to the screen, the right hand bottom side, there's a little area that says gathering. I believe it says December through January. Until January 11th you can order there. If you hit join, you can order your order. does not change anything about your order other than it accumulates into one big hostess gathering, which I'm going to give away to one person who orders from that through, that, through that area, okay? So I'll do a drawing on the 12th when I get home from work that night, and someone will win at least $25 worth of product. It might be 50, it might be more than that. It just depends on how much is ordered. I have already ordered enough through it with just the stuff I've ordered this month to give you 25 at least. So I know there's at least 25. Someone will win at least 25. Probably more, but at least 25. So. Hope you guys enjoy. I will post a picture at the end of this video to show you what this finished display tray looks like. Thank you guys for watching and have a really great night and a great weekend. Bye bye. Okay guys, real quick, this is the way I have mine set up right now. It's not glued down like I said. So all I can say is have fun with it. Find a stamp set that you like or some elements that you like to cut out for the extra little spaces that you need to fill in. Just have fun. Pick a stamp set that's fun. Even this kind of doesn't go my little, but I just love my little Raggedy Andy and the magic of Christmas never ends. So, and the last thing is I have this little element from that chipboard thing that I showed you. It says Christmas wishes, and I'm gonna put it when I finish it, probably right up here at the top, like that. So, and then hang it up on the wall. And this is one I can use over and over every Christmas. Since it's not got pictures, it'll be outdated, even though it still would be fun to hang out with pictures. So, hope you guys have fun with that. Bye-bye.